there. I'm Stacy, the Black Feather Intuitive. Welcome to Feathers of Wisdom. So let's talk about archangels this week. I'm going to share with you my personal story. Uh, as I'm sure you have gathered, if you've watched any of my Feathers of Wisdom or read any of my stuff, um, you probably know some of my story that I am really, I have a very difficult time with embracing religion. I am a spiritual person, but I just do not buy into religious tenets, religious dogma, structured um, worship of any kind. It's just a, an issue with me. I was uh, born and raised with it, and it was not a pretty picture. Um, so anything to do with what I perceive is a connection to uh, religion, to Christianity in particular, um, I tend to shy away from it. Um, even using the word God for years, it was like choking. It was it choked me to say it. Um, and I refer to my God source as divine spirit today. Um, but things like that and archangels and, you know, anything that had to do with something that I was raised with, I tended to be like this with it, including archangels. And a couple of years ago, I started getting these messages to check out the archangels and I would hear about these ascended masters and these archangels all the time and I just dismissed it out of hand because I was like okay non-judgmental I'm not going to judge other people for you know what they're choosing and what they're looking at I believe that everyone um, has their own path and if that works for them awesome it's just not working for me and I kept getting these messages and having these dreams and one day I was at our uh, local metaphysical bookshop here in the Raleigh area and I stumbled across uh, Angels of Atlantis. And I saw this and the, the, the package nearly jumped off the shelf at me and I just was like, oh my God, I have to have these cards. I didn't quite know why at the time because I'm like, they're about angels. What's that all about? I'm, I'm not into angels. What, what's going on? Um, and I read up on, uh, I, I bought the, bought this deck and I read up on all of the cards and started using the cards and really enjoyed, um, what I got from the cards, what I got from the deck and started learning a little bit of, about, um, angels. I also attended a seminar, um, here through the Spiritual Frontiers Fellowship. Um, and it was a woman who was speaking about her experience with angels and she's an, she's an angel chick. And I found her story fascinating and I really enjoyed uh, receiving an angel reading from her. And so slowly but surely I started to recognize that angels and archangels don't necessarily need to be connected with religion in order to experience um, their messages and their help. Similar to what I went through in accepting uh, Jesus. I see Jesus as an ascended master, not as... Uh, a son of God and you know someone to worship separately I see him more as an ascended master because I always believed in his message I just did not believe in all of the other stuff around it so I kept getting these messages about archangels archangels and I needed to find out who my archangels were who these archangels are and I was starting to receive messages and information while giving readings through archangels and I was like okay well I want to know who I'm communicating with or who's communicating through me I should say um, and I really want to have a personal relationship with them so I went on this uh, crazy journey to find out all about the archangels I went and bought every book known to man on the archangels I started with Doreen Virtue and sort of moved from there I did a lot of uh, uh, books with Edgar Casey. Um, that kind of thing at Stuart Pierce, uh, reading up on them. And the information was interesting and it fed me for a little bit, but it was more like the history of, and, and, uh, really, I didn't feel like it was practical. I didn't have any personal experiences with the archangels. And so that led me to looking for different seminars and things on, uh, archangels. And I went to, uh, a, a, a seminar um, I don't know, it was probably a year ago now, and it was supposed to be for um, sort of advanced meditators, people who, you know, were into the spiritual realm, and I was like, oh yeah, this sounds so great, this is really going to give me a personal experience. And I left there, while the, the seminar was great, I left there having learned nothing. I, it was all the information that I already knew, and still not having a personal experience. And I went home that night very, very sad. 
Um, and I was like, okay, I guess what I'm looking for just isn't out there. And I woke up in the middle of the night, as is typical, my dream team wakes me up often. And uh, it was, it was uh, 2.22 in the morning. And I got up and I had, to, I had to leave my bed, go downstairs to the laptop and sit down and I wrote out an outline for the message basically was, write the seminar that you wish to attend. And that became a book, uh, which is called The Archangel Experiment. Um, so that has sort of been my journey with archangels. And what I have learned on that journey is, for me, I don't want to have an experience that someone else had. I want to have my own experience. I want to develop my own relationship. I love one-on-one. -on -one. I love small groups and one-on-one. -on -one. That's really where, um, where I thrive, is really getting to know someone on a personal level, really connecting with them. And it's the same thing with our Divine Dream Team. Uh, just because they're not here in physical form doesn't mean that we can't have a, a personal relationship with them. And so I started exploring my personal relationships uh, with the Archangels. And one of the ways that I like to uh, connect with them on a daily basis is through my uh, Kyle Gray, I love these cards, uh, Kyle Gray uh, Angel Prayers deck. And I'm going to uh, do a little impromptu reading today for all of us um, to see what the archangels have to say for us. We'll see who shows up and we'll see what their personal message is for us. Who did we get? Ah, open your heart, Archangel Shamuel. So the card itself says, thank you, Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. I'm just gonna tune in here. So Archangel Chamuel is the angel of the Archangel of Love, uh, the Archangel of Peace, um, very much about the, the heart. And so no surprise there that it's saying open your heart. And I know this is a personal message for me. This is something I have been working on um, the last couple of weeks in particular in, in my meditations is just opening my heart, making my heart, you know, as, as large as the planet and larger than the planet. And, you know, how can I be of service and keeping my heart open um, even through challenges, challenging experiences with others, just keeping that heart open. So let's see what the message is for everyone. So Archangel Chenuel wants to let you know that he is here for all of you. He is within all of you. Um, I'm seeing uh, he is uh, taking his wings and wrapping them around the world. And he's also got wings wrapping his wings around each and every person in the world. This is a, a time of tumultuous transition. But we must always remember that you are supported and surrounded in love. Love is the only answer. We want only peace for you, peace in your individual hearts and peace in your global heart. This week as you go about your business, see everything through your heart filter. Before you speak, before you move, before you take action, stop and think about what you are going to say and do and take it from the brain and put it into the heart. Feel it first. Feel how your words would affect the other person you're going to speak them to. And then adjust accordingly. That is your challenge for this week. We know you're up to the task. So that is my ex uh, has been some of my experience, personal experience with Archangel uh, Chamuel is learning to expand and open my heart. And he is expressing a similar message to all of us this week as something to, some food for thought, uh, something to take with us um, this week as we go about our lives. Um, I hope this was very interesting to you, uh, me sharing a little bit of my story. Uh, I would like to do some more of these card pulls for you um, in the coming weeks to help you uh, learn a little bit more about the Archangels and uh, see if you can come up with your own 
personal experiences with each one of them uh, as they resonate for you. Until then, have a great week. Good luck with your challenge. I know that's going to be um, a, a challenge for me to, to keep in mind with every person that I interact with this week. So good luck with that challenge and we'll see you next week. Take care.